been a foster carer for just over three years. Um, when I first applied, when I was 51, uh, which is 2008, um, I applied to be a supported lodgings carer because I was running two businesses. And I thought the older children would take less of my time. So I was approved for one child um, in 2009, March 2009. And within six months, um, I was approved for two. <laughs> And then within the next year, I was approved for three, and 18 months ago, I became a therapeutic carer. Therapeutic carer, we, we have a lot of training, we um, have a lot of supervision, we have clinical supervision with psychologists to help us cope with the, uh, the needs um, and the behaviours of the children we look after, because we do tend to get children with more um, challenging behaviours. So um, it's, it's very interesting, um, it's very time consuming, um, and it's very rewarding. When we applied, it wasn't. We didn't think, oh yes, we were definitely going to be accepted. It was a case of, well, if you accept us, you do, and if you don't, you don't. We'd like to, but if we're not suitable, then that's fine. And and that's how we went into it. We didn't go in thinking, oh, we're we're the best or anything like that. It was just a case of, well, I'm not sure whether I'm what you really want, so it's worth looking into and and um, inquiring and then going through the process. Oh. Well, the highs are, are when something goes right, you know, I mean, we had some young children with us recently and when he came to us he was six but he couldn't read. Um, and I must admit, taking him through the process of learning to read and seeing him pick up a book and enjoy it as was a real high for me. Um, and, and seeing behaviours change when, um, when they'll eat the, the dinner that you put in front of them and it's not I don't like that because it doesn't taste like burgers you know it's that's quite challenging and you're sort of looking at ways to encourage them to eat and, and try to make it interesting so um, you know it's it's been a learning curve uh, because of course my children when you have your own children because they're your children and because you do what you do they've grown up with your flavours, with your textures, and, and they, there's not a problem. But when you get new children in, um, they're not used to what you have. So you have to change what you do, and you have to adapt what you do. And, and all that is very challenging, and it's, it's also very rewarding at the end of it. So yeah, it's been great.